Hey, Keyshawn, um, we, uh, I wanted to ask you sort of, they said you've come on like gangbusters. You're too young to know what that means, but in practice, and, and we've seen you grow in the games. I'm just curious, like, when did it really click for you? Uh, obviously, you played extremely well in this last game. You got some opportunities. I know that's a big part of it. But was there a point a few weeks ago, a month ago, that, that you were like, you know, I, I've got everything now? What was the last part you said? Can you repeat the last Except, part? Like, when was – when it, when it – was there a point when you said, hey, I've got this now? Like, I, I don't – you know, you didn't have a training camp. You didn't have all that. But, like, everything sort of clicked to where – you felt entirely comfortable, you know, in this offense and everything you did. I say that I'm still kind of getting comfortable in this offense. Um, even playing on the uh, this level. Yeah. Um, last week, being the first time I was really able to get my feet wet, um, running the ball, just being in there longer than I've done being all season. Yeah. Just kind of staying ready at all times mentally uh, has been one of my biggest things. Um, even getting drafted to this team, I knew it was high expectation of being Tom Brady had came. Um, so my role was going to be even more challenging um, with the expectations coming in. And then, like I said, just mentally staying ready at all times. And, and what's it been like? Because you're, you're in a running back room that has anywhere from a third-year guy like Ronald Jones to a bunch of veterans, right? Like Fournette and then Shady. I mean, you you've got – it's a great room, but there's an awful lot of experience in there, right? You're the young guy. So how have they helped you? What's that been like? I mean, I'm just sitting back watching them, um, taking everything that they're putting out on the field, kind of um, taking how they dissect the game and kind of putting it into my world. Um, just even if that's like just knowing the whole formation, knowing everybody else's jobs, including yours, to make it easier. Um, then just staying ready. Um, because, like you say, that room is just – the room by itself holds a lot of weight. Yeah. So, just being able to fill in when it's my turn, that's the biggest thing. For sure. Thanks a lot. I'll right, we'll go over to Greg Allman. Hey, Keyshawn. I just want to ask you uh, – you mentioned, obviously, the, the playing time has been hard to come by this year. But just how much it helps you to get a half of a football, a sustained – number of series in a row just to get a rhythm and a feel for how things work. I, I know when you've been in most time this season, I think you had a full series in the Green Bay game, but most of the time it's just been for a play here, a third down here. How does that help you as a back just to, to get a feel for how the game flows like that? I mean, for me, it's, it's all about being able to be, be comfortable. I feel like my game, the more I'm in, the more comfortable I get, the more dangerous I become. Um, that just confidence plays a big role in that too, um, being in there a lot you're going to get more confidence. You're going to slow the game down mentally and physically. Uh, everything's going to slow down to you. So getting them reps just help a lot. Thanks, Keisha. All right, we'll go over to Joey Knight. Hey, uh, Keyshawn, forgive me if you've answered this. Is there, when you got drafted, was there one part of your game that you said, I've really got to work on this? This is – the A number one thing I've, I've got to polish. And how much have you polished that? How much have you improved on that since you've been in the league? The thing that was for me um, when I got drafted, knowing I was coming to Tampa Bay was uh, catching the ball out the backfield. Um, just becoming more of a natural catcher um, has been my biggest focus since like my junior year in college, I've been focusing on that. Just become more natural, more fluid with it. And I'm still working on that. And you mentioned, you know, Rick talked about some of the older guys that you have in your room. Is there one of them or two of them specifically that's kind of, for lack of a better term, taken you under their wing and really been that mentor to you? Um, I can say uh, Keon Barner has been one of the guys uh, who will take me under his wing. It's just we in the same locker room, so um, that's probably why. But Shady, Lenny, um, and Ro just all giving me helpful tools coming into this game, being prepared at all times. and. Staying ready. Thanks, man. All right, we'll go over to Mark Cook. Hey, Keyshawn. Um, I, I'm guessing you're familiar with Ronald Jones' rookie season, right? It, it didn't go very well for him. Um, he may have lost a little bit of confidence. Can, can you use Ronald um, as, a, as, number one, a sounding board, but also a little bit of an inspiration 
here's a guy that gained less than 100 yards in his entire rookie season. Now he's on the verge of, of maybe getting 1,000 yards in a season. Could you talk about your relationship with Ronald and, and, and taking a look at his past and how that's going to help you with your future? Well, me and Ro have talked about uh, his rookie season. He had let me know he wouldn't get much playing time. Um, but, I mean, I really ain't been looking at it as much as not getting much playing time. It's, for me, it's just understanding my role on this team. Um, right now, it's not playing or not playing a lot. That's not my role right now. My, right now, it's just to sit back and be ready when the opportunity does present itself. So that's how I've been taking it um, mentally. Um, and I've been through this before. So sitting back and having to wait my turn is nothing new. And, and, and Joey kind of touched on it a little bit, but what would you say is the one thing from the first day of training camp to now that you've improved the most on? Is it, is it catching the ball or is it the mental aspect of the game? Um, it's the mental part. Uh, I say when I first got out here, like camp, during camp, I was kind of moving slow, um, trying to get a feel for everything, the tempo, the speed, how, how to practice like a pro. But now since everything, we in, what, week 17, everything kind of slowed down for me. I'm understanding the playbook more and then understanding defenses and what I need to do. All right, we'll go over to Leo Haggerty. Keyshawn, playing at Vanderbilt, you had a meat grinder schedule in the SEC. How did that prepare you to be a running back in the NFL, playing those defenses like Alabama, Auburn, LSU, Florida, every year? I say for me, it's just kind of the physical uh, part of the game. Um, SEC, what they say, that's right under the NFL. So uh, I'm playing against the top dogs uh, in college. So that, I feel like that kind of helped me get ready for this league. Well, it's not a drastic change, but it's a change. Uh, and then, like, you just got to be willing to play football, um, lower your pads, and beat the man across from you. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks, Keyshawn. Thank you.